Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Tuesday, April 22nd, 2014. Okay, uh, no real big announcements to review from yesterday. Today we have one red star on existing home sales and it's traditionally uh, kind of a biggie. Without any further ado, let's quickly move over into Asia and we uh, are closed or closing mixed over in Asia for today. And in Europe, we are green across the board. I'm looking at it, it's green and red almost came out of my mouth. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I didn't really take a look at the news today to see if there's anything really interesting. Um, no, I don't see anything really. Uh, Netflix did well last night, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I did make a play on it, so I just thought you might be interested in that. All right, I'm going to close out of there, and we'll jump right out over into uh, the futures here in the U.S. Um, looking slightly positive but really flat. Uh, gold is clawing its way back up to the 1300 mark and thank goodness that oil is pulling back a tad. It's not a real impressive pullback. All right, I have a couple of stories to tell you before we get into the A-plus list. Uh, you remember the calendar that I had on Google that um, somebody exercised my short put um, on Thursday. So what I attempted to do, I just wanted to see how it would work. Uh, well, first of all, I called Thinkorswim and I said, I have all day right before I have a margin call on this. And they said, yes. So I, I waited until um, about mid-afternoon and I thought, well, I'll just, I was looking at the, at the price of Google and let's just put it up here. And I had a long put at 1090, so I was holding the stock, and my option was to just sell the stock and then sell the put, or um, which I had to take it at 1090, so I effectively had to pay 1090 for that from the short put, which is right about here. So when it dropped down on Thursday, somebody exercised it, and then um, I had to eat it for 1090. So I had 100 shares for 1090. So um, that was pretty expensive, but I had a day to do it, not panicking or anything. So Google continued to fall a little bit during the day. So I had a choice. I could either um, the stock that I paid ten ninety four, I would um, have to sell down here for a loss, but the long put was worth a lot, or I could just exercise it, and I could sell my shares at ten ninety effectively, what I paid for them, and show a bit of a profit in this range here. But I didn't, you know, ultimately on a trade. I didn't show any profit. Okay, so I came over here without any assistance, and this is just a simulation here, but I right click on this and you come up with this here that says that you want to exercise it. Okay, so I clicked on that and it said, oh, you need to own the underlying in order to exercise. I go, well, I do own the underlying. So Google and Sergi and Gang just uh, did it to us all again. I don't know if anybody was holding anything before that split. That wasn't really a split. But um, I couldn't do it, so I had to call Thinkorswim. And I was talking to the guy at the trade desk, and he was 
I think he must have been trying to do it himself, and he couldn't get it to do it. So he said, well, I'm going to have to give it to the order writing team. And uh, he said, wait about a half hour, and it should all be cleared up. It should be gone. I said, okay. So I waited until about 3.30 when I got into this Netflix trade, which is another story I'm going to tell you. And uh, sure enough, it was gone and everything was cleared up and we're all solid and A-OK. All right. So enough about that. Then on Netflix, um, oops, there's that finger bumping that right button again. Uh, Netflix, I took a bet to the downside. I should have done both sides on this calendar because I think I'm not really going to lose very much on this at all today. I don't think. We'll find out. But uh, let's jump over to the Analyze tab and bring up Netflix. Okay, so this is where my calendar looks right now. So yesterday we had a market maker move right up here. It was actually a little bit closer to 40 at that time. So uh, stock was trading around 348, 345. So I picked a calendar at this 305 level uh, looking for it to move down whether it had good earnings or not so I picked um, in April for this week April 4 and in June and here's the reason why um, actually when I did this trade I believe the IV on the June was around oh, I would say 58 or something like that and the April 4 was around 128 I believe so when you get a big difference like this you want your shorts IV to be high and um, your long IV to be low and that's pretty and it you know worked out swimmingly here for that so I took a picture of it last night, and here's the picture. Uh, it was a little bit after I actually executed the trade, but we're looking at 119 and 51. So that's what it was. The short was 51, and the long was 119. And, uh, of course, this is where the strike is here at 305. Now, this white line today is probably going to pump up a tab I would say and I may not end up losing anything however if I would have picked a strike so you're at 375 this morning we'll look at the chart here it's 376 and 10 cents it's the latest quote there um, oops so if I would have had one another calendar up here, we'd probably be um, in pretty good shape. But I just decided to pick one direction. And it happened to be wrong, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. So the midpoint on that was $7, so I moved my limit order to seven oh five, and I got an execution relatively fast. All right, that's just for curiosity's sake. Look at the open interest. And let's just do all here. Here's my short put. There isn't really a bunch of open interest here at all. And, but how about the long side on the calls? Um, thirty dollars up from three forty-eight, three eighty. Let's say somewhere around here. Yeah, it's a little bit higher. A lot of people pick the three eighty-five, and you can see that you know they're just using this market maker move, and they're just piling on here, and good for them. Is all I have to say. So uh, we'll see what happens today. I'll report back tomorrow and let you know how 
the trade worked out and if I got really creamed or not on it. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to open up right around here. So that'll be a nice gap up for Netflix. And then we'll see what happens after that. All right, so let's move on to the A-plus list and just move on through. Okay, uh, Apple. Uh, we probably could, well, we got earnings coming up on Apple, which just so happens to be tomorrow. So that's one that will probably, we might play this both ways. Should we take a look? Let's take a look here. We have a market maker move of 19. And we're looking at right now only 47% for this week. And if we move out to June 21, so that's not too bad. So 19, um, 531 minus 20 is 510. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to buy a calendar and move the, sh the long out to June. So uh, pretty similar to Netflix, that would be $660 for that one. And then 531 plus 20 would be 550 And that would be here. Move this one out to June. And that would be $5.50 if we went and took a look at a risk profile here. This is what we would see. Um, so we can lock this in for now. But uh, we will wait till tomorrow to see how this looks. So I'm going to take a picture of this right now. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that one. Apple is, of course, always fun to trade the uh, earnings on that. All right, let's move along here. Amazon, 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 when are your earnings? Your earnings are on the 24th. And that is aftermarket. So this would be one we would wait until actually the 24th to trade that one. Do we have, yes, we have a setup here. But I'm not going to do anything with it. This is really pretty, actually. But I'm not doing anything with it from a directional trade perspective uh, because of earnings. Okay, Boeing. Boeing has earnings on the 23rd before the market. So this is one that, you know, if you wanted to trade something on it, let's take a look at the differences in IV here. Uh, 37 versus 23. It's not all that big of a difference. So this probably would not be a really good um, earnings play. Baidu. We have earnings coming up on it, the 24th after market. So that's one that we would play on the 24th if we were to play it. And here we have 74 versus 43. That's a pretty good difference. So that is one that uh, we might consider. So I'm only looking for earnings today after the market or tomorrow morning pre-market. So here's on the 24th pre-market on Celgene. So if you were to do something on Celgene, you would do it today. And we're looking at 47 versus 36. Hmm. Yeah, that may change during the day today. 
to become more favorable. Is there a direction that we would pick? Uh, see what happened here. They actually beat and then got hit. I don't know. Celgene, maybe. I'm going to put it on my list, but I'm not real excited about it right now. Chipotle, I think you would almost, you may have to actually uh, pick a direction because the difference in IV is not all that great. Chipotle um, had their earnings and they actually missed. That was last week and they are getting hit pretty good because of it. So now we're looking for a target up here. We'll see if we can come up and catch it. Costco. We're at the 16 minute mark. Uh, alert didn't work on that. We're still waiting for it to mature. That's okay. We can move our alert up. Let's see here. Yeah, I think right there. Uh, replace. So that's pretty. It's pretty close to the low of the day. That's okay with me. So this is not really alertable, but it definitely is on the setup list. Again. All right. Chevron. Wow, it's out of terror, isn't it? Wow. Um, I don't consider this, once we're above here, if we wiggle around a little bit, that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but the big one is if we come down here, we can't have any green breaks in the red line as we come down. So we'll wait for that one. That one needs to mature a little bit to see how the Dow is doing. The Dow is uh, tight in a tight range right now, last three days. Um, looks like we hooked down here, so let's see if we come down and catch down here. And maybe we might have a play on DIA EOG. Uh, still on a tear. Let's, we need to move this over. And they, oops, they uh, have earnings coming up. In a couple of weeks, but we have time if it comes down quick. FedEx. Uh, all right. We're waiting for it to mature a little bit and come down and catch us. Although, yeah, we're thinking that we have a trend change going on here. So we're looking for a um, bullish play on this. F5 Networks. Uh, definitely range bound. We have earnings coming up on the 23rd after the market, so that would be one for tomorrow. And uh, we got 97 and 38. So that would be, that's a good earnings play prospect for tomorrow, not for today. Gold. Um, yeah, we're down here. We just we got a green hook. That's a good thing. Um, we're still in an uptrend, so we have a setup forming here. This is not alertable because MACD did not turn green, so this is a setup. It's in its second day, waiting for this to set up, and it may fail. Uh, let's take a look at Goog. This also, what did we have on this? This was a 20 Delta trade um, that we were looking at yesterday. It did not do it. I should have. I should have. Uh, where's 20 Delta putting us for, let's say, next week on the full Google? Uh, I don't need all here. I need to just do 24. Okay, um, 20 delta on the bear call side. What am I looking at here? Okay, we are looking at that doesn't seem right. 1040. 
Oh, that's really close. That is really close. Oh, you know what? These... Oh, man. Look at that. Why are these options still listed like that? I'm not touching Google. I'm just not touching. Because you have to double this. That's actually 1080. So that's not right. That's why that that's why that premium is so high. Ah, uh, it's just so screwed up. I'm just leaving it alone. That we have to look at these weeklies, I think. Yes, that's what we have to do. The weeklies, these say Goog, which is the old Goog prices, and then these other ones, the weeklies, and that one, and that one, these are the regular prices. So let's look at, uh, or the new prices, I guess you could say. 24, why did that change? I don't know. All right, um, 20 delta. So we're looking at 565. So that's a two dollar and fifty cent spread for a forty cent credit. Okay, we're looking at the short is at five sixty five, five sixty five. That would be an okay play, I think, for the next couple of weeks. So I'm putting them down again for uh, a twenty delta. And that would be next week's expiration. Correct? Yes. No, May 2. May 1 is next week, actually. Yes, May 1. So let's change this to May 1. And that's a 30 cent credit do a risk profile here and we are looking at 30 cents and 220 in risk oh, let's see that's about um, risk is 8 to 1 no 7 to 1 I usually like 5 to 1 for my 20 deltas so you may have to uh, tighten up or um, moving the spread out is not going to help. Moving the sp uh, spread between between the strikes is not going to help on that one. So I have to think about that. But that's um, uh, seven to one. Usually like five to one. Yeah, I'll think about it. It's on the list, so we'll take a look at it later. I W M. To move this chart up here a little bit, missing some stuff. Uh, we're looking for a move down here on a new uptrend. Moving on, LinkedIn. LinkedIn's earnings are next week. Can we go back to the trough again on this? It's still setting up. Or back to the well, I guess I could say. That one's still setting up. 3M. We have earnings before market so the 23rd or tomorrow we might be looking at something if we were to look for this week we're at 28 and for June we're at 16 eh, not good enough for me uh, we looked at Netflix let's go to Priceline Priceline earnings are out here um, much out here way into May we think and we're waiting for it to come down and catch our target the Q's. Uh, are in what appears to be a continuation of an uptrend. What appears to be a little bit shaky on this. We'll put a target down here and see if it plays out. Spiders, S&P 500, uh, pretty much looking the same. TLT it's down into our target area so we have a setup 
and Tesla. Right, we're waiting for it to come down into our target area. They have earnings next month. Union Pacific. They had a... Well, they were on spot on, I guess you might say. So I guess everybody was pretty happy about that. So now we're waiting for it to come down here and give us an entry. And last but not least, never least, is Visa still setting up. We have one more day on this, but we have earnings. The 24th after the market closed, so that's one for the 24th. And we are looking at 39 versus 23. That doesn't excite me much at all as far as an earnings play is concerned. Pick a direction. I don't know. I'm not comfortable doing an earnings play on that one, but um, we're not going to consider this. Now, it's too late to um, collect any uh, Vega on this or Theta on this. So uh, we're taking a pass on it for this week, dropping it off the setup list. All right, that's it for today. Uh, it's going to be a fun week. We have a lot of earnings plays that we could do, and we'll see how they work out. I will, uh, if I do some more, I will report back at the conclusion of this week, and we'll see how we do. All right, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and happy trading.